I don't think there was a day that went by I didn't think about him or what he was doing. I think that they had come to terms with the fact that there may never be an arrest. I heard a television on. I walked back there. I touched her leg, and I knew she was dead. So I ran out and made a call. That has always kind of stuck with me that it actually looked like she was still looking at somebody that was in the room. It was Smyrna Police Department who told me that my sister was dead. He said she'd been shot, dead of a gunshot wound. Dead of a gunshot wound. It's like, does the name John Peake mean anything to you? It was a case that never went cold. It's definitely a dream, uh, it was a dream come true for her. Then she mm -hmm. found a charge on her credit card. This woman was yelling, are you in there? All along, he had told me he was divorced and kind of alluded that she was a little, you know, nuts. He's playing both of them against one another. He wants to have his cake and eat it too. 100%, yes, every slice. He is the most dangerous kind of con man, really. He's not gonna stop until the day he does. Is there anything in your past I need to know about? Yes, of course there is. Can you believe it? This changes the total trajectory of all of our investigation. I looked at him when he opened that door. I said, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Oh, that gave me chills. And I said, you're under arrest. You and your team were prepared to go to trial, and then something unexpected happened in the last hours. And we were absolutely stunned. 